everyone, uh, my name is Anil and today I'm going to be showing you this new version of Dictanote. Dictanote is a mini Microsoft Word kind of an editor with a multi-language speech recognition facility. So using this you can uh, record your notes, save them and format it as well. Then you could probably put it in Microsoft Word and send it to somebody or copy it into email and send it to someone. Uh, you could also save your notes and use it something like a normal note saving facility. Um, so before you begin, you want to do two things. One, you want to get your language right. Uh, Dictanote supports around 28 different languages. So I'm going to set it to English and uh, United States, but you can set it to one of the other languages, whatever works for you. Uh, then the other thing you want to do is log in. And I also recommend you go pro. Uh, the pro facility is just less than a dollar per month. So it's around $10 a year. Um, I strongly recommend you do it. So I already have a pro account. Let me just log in into it. Um, so here it. Uh, now let me show you a quick demo of how this works. New York is an awesome place. Full stop. New York is also the most populated city in the United States. Full stop. As you see, it almost got everything right. Uh, P got capitalized. So let me just edit it. You can also do a lot of formatting. So for example, I'm going to do a slight bit of formatting here. I'm going to make this heading one. I'm going to remove this. Then I'm probably going to color it a bit. Right. And uh, then once you know that your note is ready, you can make it public. So now that your note is public, it comes at a URL. So if you are logged in, you can see the URL correctly, but uh, I opened it in incognito and you can see that, uh, oh shit, we forgot to save it actually. So let's just save the note. So command S is the shortcut or control S if you're on Mac. So I saved the note, then I open an incognito tab and check. You can see we got our note, New York is an awesome place and it's also the most. Uh, there are like a couple of keyboard shortcuts, you can check them here. And there are like a couple of cool features, for example, voice commands. I'll probably make separate videos about these. But in case you have any doubts while using this, you can always contact me via the support link. Just leave a short message and uh, your email address and I'll always get back to you within a few hours. Thanks a lot for watching this.